Hello everyone. I hope you are having a great Friday. Um, taking care of yourself, staying inside, only leaving when absolutely necessary. Um, so today I thought we would do another class on how to make a homemade mask. Um, and this time I'm just going to use one piece of fabric. So this piece is a, an 11 by 20 and we're going to use this to make our mask today. Also, if you have things that you might want to have made and you can DM me, call me, let me know, and we can definitely um, do those classes for you. I'm always here if you need me. Today, to get started, we have our one piece of fabric. This is 11 by 20. Again, we're going to need our elastic here, a tape measure, and some scissors for cutting. Last time I forgot to tell you that you will need a safety pin to string the elastic through for the earpieces for your mask. So what we're going to do here is we're going to fold our fabric in half, right side to right side and we're just going to do a nice seam across the top of here and sew these two pieces together. Okay, so if you have your machine out, go ahead and get started. going to pull that in and here you have it this is basically our mask this takes this literally takes I think under 10 minutes to finish um, if that maybe under five so now that we have it we want to put the seam in the center right so here's our seam this is the part that's going to go towards the mouth like so so our mask is going to go on us like this so now that we have this seam sewn together, we want to sew down these openings. So we're gonna sew down each opening so that doesn't move. to keep it in place if you need to with some push pins to keep everything in place. Now we're going to go over here on the other side and we're going to sew that opening together. is literally almost done. So now what we are going to do, and like I said, if you don't have fabric laying around, as you can see, this matches my bodysuit. I had some extra fabric laying around, um, an 11 by 20 piece. This is one piece that we're gonna turn into our homemade mask. So now that we have those seams, we're gonna fold this over and this is where we're going to loop the elastic through for the ears. So we want to fold that over an inch, right? And then we're going to sew directly on that line.
Now, we're gonna do the other side. We're gonna fold that over an inch. And again, you can keep this in place with some push pins, keep it from moving around. So we're gonna take that and we're gonna seam right on top of that seam that we have there. take our elastic band. So yesterday, um, I made a mask for my brother and I thought the ears were a little tight. I used nine inches for the ear pieces. Today, I think I'm gonna go with 10, just to give a little bit more room. And we're just gonna measure out 10 inches there. And we need two of them. Here we have our ear pieces. Now we're going to take our safety pin, if I can find it. We just add it. Here it is! Safety pin. And we're just going to put that through there and we're going to loop this through the end and pull it all the way through the other end be sure to hold on to this piece so that it doesn't get lost once we have that all the way through pull that nice and tight and Remove the safety pin, and then we're just gonna tie a knot in this close to the end, like you would tie a balloon, right? And pull that nice and tight, and then we're gonna just hide that knot in here so that it's not showing. Voila. One more. So we're going to take our safety pin again, drop my elastic band, and we're going to do the same thing to the other side. Okay, and put that right in there, hold on to the other end, and we're going to string this through very nicely. Be sure to use a safety pin that is a good size to make sure you can get it through this casing. Pull that through. Take the safety pin off. A little knot here. This is so quick. And voila. And if you have a sewing machine, I said these can be made also sewing by hand, super easy. And here we have our homemade mask and it's all finished. And it was under 10 minutes and I have been sitting here talking. So imagine if you just did this at home, it would be so quick. You can make these for your friends or your family. If you need masks, my bestie in Chicago is selling them at Danielle Roshan Makeup. Hi, girl. All right. So, now that we have our mask, let's try it on. And, nice and high on the nose. It is a perfect fit. And it matches my shirt. Perfect. 
Awesome. I don't know if they told you how you can test if your mask is good. What you want to do is you want to put your mask on and then you want to light a lighter and blow. Try to blow the flame out. If the flame does not blow out, then you know nothing's getting through your mask. All right? So try it. If you do feel that your mask is too thin, you can also add another piece of fabric in there just for more coverage. I hope you enjoyed this 10 minute lesson on how to make a homemade mask. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me. If you have any ideas and things that you want to make, I think it would be great. We can sew whatever you'd like. Um, perhaps next time we can make some pillowcases. Pillowcases are always great for just giving your living space a new look. You can take some old pillows, get some new fabric, make a quick pillowcase. I can show you a technique that my grandma uses to make her pillowcases. All you need is one little piece of fabric and you'll have a pillowcase. I'll show you that next time. Thank you everyone. I hope that you're enjoying these lessons. I know that I am. Please feel free to get in touch with me at any time. Bye.